Okay, I had a subscriber ask me, can you do any interesting card magic with just two shuffles? I think they were having a hard time remembering all the different shuffles I show on my channel. And so uh, this is a, a partial response to that question. Okay, so here we're, we're going to just use two shuffles. Uh, we'll use the left-right shuffle and also the Klondike shuffle. Okay, and these are common shuffles and I don't think they're too hard to remember or perform. And as you can see here, I have uh, the four queens and the four kings. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and just give you the choice. Which of those two shuffles would you like me to perform? And I'll do them in any quantity and in any order that you like. Left, right? Okay. How would you like those stacked? Left on right or right on left? Right on left. Okay. Another one of those. Okay. Very good. Right on left again. That's just fine. Okay. What next? You want the Klondike now. Okay, so this is how you do the Klondike. You hold the cards like this, middle grip, it's called, and then you just pull the top and bottom off as one, okay? Would you like to do another Klondike or a left-right? Since we're focusing on just those two shuffles. Left-right, okay. How should I stack these? Left on right, okay. Would you like to do any more Klondike? And if so, how many? You want to do, you want to do two more? Okay. Very good. So go uh, top and bottom off is one. Okay, there we go. That's uh, one more Klondike. <laughs> uh, here's a second Klondike. Okay, and why don't we do just one more of these? You want a left, right? Uh, how would you like these stacked? Left on right. Okay. Well, what I have found is there's something very strange about the name of a famous musical group. I don't know if you've heard of ABBA before, A-B-B-A, -B -B but in card magic, they've become famous as well because if you spell their name, A-B-B-A, -B -B -A, and then also spell the inside out version of that name, which is B-A-A-B, really strange but interesting things happen in card magic. So let me just show you that here, okay? Um, so uh, A, B, B, A. So we'll put the A's on the left and B's on the right. So A, B, B, A, and now we'll spell the inside out version of that, which is B, A, A, B, okay? So how would we know if something unusual happened? Well, let's just take a look at what those actions have resulted in. Check <laughs> that out. We got the four queens in one pile and the four kings in another. Oh boy, I would say that's highly unusual and very surprising given the original organization of the packet, okay, which I showed you at the start. Okay, so what's going on here quickly? Um, so what you need is you actually need to essentially put them in that organization of A, B, B, A, and B, A, A, B. And if you do, you can perform as many left-right shuffles and Klondike shuffles as you like, and then you can pull them apart in the same way. It's absolutely amazing. Okay, so what you do is you begin with a dichotomous card characteristic, something like red versus black, face cards versus number cards, even value cards versus odd value cards. Here we have kings versus queens. That's fine, okay? And then you construct what's called a Bessie sequence of order eight. Well, all you need to think about is just ABBA, the famous musical group, and also the inversion of that name, okay? So it's A-B-B-A, B-A-A-B, -A -A -B. okay? So what you do is you just kind of separate these like that. Maybe we'll have the kings on the left, queens on the right, okay? Uh, you choose kings or A's or kings or B's. Maybe kings or A's, that's fine. So we have A, any order here, B, B, like A. You might want to mix the colors a little randomly, I guess. And then B, and then A, A, B. Okay, so that's using the name of ABBA and its inside out version, okay? So this is called the Bessie Sequence of Order 8. And if you go to my channel, and I'll include a link in the description below to a whole playlist talking about Bessie Sequences, 
um, this packet structure is unharmed by dozens and dozens of common systematic shuffling procedures used today. It's really quite remarkable. And two of those are the LR and Klondike shuffles. So we can perform as many of those as we like. We truly can. You can any order, any quantity, spectator decides. And then you just separate them. Like I said, A's on the left, B's on the right. Okay, so I can mix this with left, right, and Klondike, and then you just go backwards. So A, B, B, A, B, A, A, B, okay? And we will have separated the two groups that we set up at the beginning. Okay, so there we have the four kings and the four queens, okay? And then just to give you some other ideas for dichotomous characteristics, um, I have a list here. You can do red versus black, face card versus number card, even versus odd value card, Fibonacci value cards versus non-Fibonacci value cards, prime versus composite value, clubs versus spades, hearts versus diamonds, three or five letter card names versus four letter card names, card value names that begin with T, like 10 and 3 and 2, versus card value names that begin with S, like 6 and 7. Now uh, here, this is what we did, kings versus is queens. Of course, you can have jacks and queens, jacks and kings. You can do any kind of pairing of special cards in some way and then finish in the way that we have here. So I thought I would share this with you. It's a quick little card effect that you can do right away. And maybe I'll show you some other pairings of shuffles that you can use to accomplish some really fun mathematical card magic. So thank you for watching and take a look at other videos on the Absolute Math Magic channel.